I have a strong feeling that I simply have no idea what I'm in store for. Like, just seeing his training program scares me. And I think it'll put in perspective what these guys do. When you see them at the Olympics, when you see them at Henley, when you see these guys rowing anywhere, you see the final six and a half minutes of 10 years of work. I'm gonna try and experience just one week of it. See what happens. Let's go. Bit of information about what I'm gonna be eating over the next few days with the cam challenge. Basically this will last me three or four days. Cam said that I need to be eating a box of cereal a day, which I don't think I can do. Bananas, these are great. Same with these, chuck them in the oven for half an hour. Really, really nice. Meal tonight will probably be this full pack of meatballs. Half a pack of pasta and then that bottle of sauce. I do think I will need to get more food because I only have two or three evening meals there. So anyway, this is probably the first three days. I'll let you know how I get on. Hello YouTubers and welcome to episode two of the short series where we see if an average person can train like me. To start off the week, changing the schedule a little bit to what we said in the previous episode, I'm gonna be on the water here first as we're actually going out with some delegates from COP26. We're here at Okinstari, a canal just outside Glasgow, and we're hopefully gonna be treated to a lovely sunrise to match this lovely flat water. Oh, yeah. But Adam, on the other hand, gets to go and do some lovely weights, his first experience with 10 by 10. Good luck, Adam. Just got to the gym, about to do session one. 10 by 10 trap bar deadlift with 80 to 85% of one rep max, which I can't do. And then bench press, five by five, which I'm all right with, and then lap pull down. Then I'm heading straight for the water to do some rowing afterwards. So let's see how this goes. We've made it off the water with the Chinese delegates in the quad. A lovely relaxed paddle. Unfortunately, we weren't treated to some of the gorgeous sunrises that usually bless us here at Okinstari, but we were able to row on some almost perfect water. The reason the guys were here from COP26 was to look and see what Scottish canals have been doing around Scottish canals to see if they can do similar in China. But now it's time to head to Strathclyde Park and get in the weights room and get training. And I wonder how Adam's morning's been this morning. Maybe a little bit less relaxed than mine. Let's find out. All right, so that's session one done. It was good, it was hard. The 10 by 10 deadlift I stuck to, I think 105 kilos. My back is still a bit sore, but nah, I felt they were all right. I managed to do every two minutes, do a set of 10. So that went quite quick. The whole workout took about 80 minutes, which isn't too bad. Bench press was comfortable, lap pull down was fine. I did a warm up row just to get my back going. I think I'm gonna feel it now. So I'm gonna go to the water now to do an hour of rowing. I don't know how far I'll get. A big thing I'm struggling with, which I forgot, is that Cam said I need to eat tons and I forgot to bring food with me. So I've just bought a bell shake from the gym, which is great. And then that'll keep me going until after the row. See you in a bit. And hopefully Adam's morning hasn't been too stressful compared to our lovely relaxing row on some glass, but now it's time to up the intensity for me. All right, side change of plan. The rowing club was shut. I can't do what I was planning on doing. In the plan, I meant to do an hour cycle tonight, and I was meant to be doing a 16K row. I was gonna switch around a bit, do an hour row. So I'm going back to an hour cycle. I'm gonna do that now before it gets dark, and then I'll do 16K uh, later on. Off to ride my bike. So I've made it into the van after the wait session. Just cooking up a storm in here for second breakfast I believe we're at or maybe it's third third breakfast or second lunch or first lunch whatever it is we're fueling up because remember food is fuel the weight session went well for me it's interesting always think on a Monday at the start of the week you're feeling fresh and you want to just go smash it you want to go smash your workout but when you're training 
as much as I do, it can be really easy. Start a Monday feeling fresh, going for it, and then overcooking it almost immediately on the first day of the training week. And then by Tuesday, you're already tired or too tired, and then you're falling down, not even close to the end of the week. So it's not necessarily taking the foot off the gas, but in my experience, I know where to put the foot on the gas, if that makes sense. So I'm hoping that Adam doesn't go too hard at the beginning of the week so he doesn't make it. And one of the keys to be able to survive, even if you do push that a little bit harder, is to have enough food. So I have plenty of food for second breakfast or second lunch, whatever meal this is. And then we'll have another session after fueling up. Oh yeah. So I'm on my one hour bike ride. My legs feel sore already though. 16k air glitter. 60k bike ride tomorrow. Gonna be tough. And I've just woken up from a little bit of a nap. The benefits of training full time, if the schedule is flexible enough, you can move it around a little bit, can really get maximum recovery in. Sometimes a little bit of a top up nap is really important because sleep is incredibly important. And a little bit of a nap can help you through the day. I don't always nap, but sometimes I just feel like I need one. Yam's getting his Z's in as well. And now I get to do my third session. Hoi! Ad's made a huge mistake. The bike ride should have been an hour. And it was an hour, but on the plan, it just said, do an hour bike ride. For some reason, I did 19.7 miles an hour average for an hour, which isn't the fastest ride in the world, but it's not slow. <laughs> and so now my legs are like, what on earth are you doing? and I have a 16k erg later to do. To go into that, having just battered an hour bike ride and done 10 by 10 deadlifts, it's gonna hurt. The other problem is I've now run out of time. I have 10 minutes before my next meeting and I need to get home, so I can't even eat. So the lunch that I'd planned to have at two o'clock, I'm now gonna have to have at three o'clock. I've barely eaten today. This isn't going well. And look at that gorgeous water. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get out there in the single, in the Yamagini name yet to be determined today because it's going to get too dark and i want to do 16k on the water it's going to take me about an hour and 20 ish it's going to be pitch black because up here in scotland it gets dark around half past four so including the little bit of a nap that i had earlier and taking the delegates from cop 26 out this morning pushing back the schedule further than it would usually be means that we're running out of daylight today so a little bit of a change of plan hopping on the rowing machine instead of going on the water slightly unfortunate because the water is so enjoyable looking but still getting some fitness in some training in on the rowing machine today it's already hard like how cam manages to do his filming editing all the youtube stuff eat as much as he does and trains more than I currently am. I have no idea. Like I'm on day one and I'm struggling. <laughs> I now have one minute before I'm back on work meetings. So far I've barely eaten a little bit of porridge, a couple of bananas and a protein shake. So emergency squashies on day one and down and then try and get some food in a bit. It's tough. This is not an easy task. I'm going to turn this array of normal looking ingredients into a beautiful meal. I'm gonna do one of those transitions everyone does. Are you ready? Ta-da! I don't think I'll be winning any cooking competitions, but hopefully it's quite nice. I'll let you know. So I've made it onto the rowing machine. Like I said, it's gonna get a bit too dark outside, so we can't go on that glass flat of water, but hopefully tomorrow. Today, 16K, nice and steady, on the rowing machine. I'll probably do it straight through. I've got the iPad up there to distract me instead of just looking at the numbers the whole time. And this shouldn't be difficult. This should be a nice, consistent pace where I can just keep steadily going. made it through halfway, enjoying the iPad behind you. Heart rate just sitting around 132, 133, nice and easy. Just enjoying the gains of fitness. And there we go. Lovely, just over an hour on the rowing machine and it is now dark outside. So, end of the training day, nice and easy Monday. Now it's time to rest, recover, and then do it all again tomorrow, but with some slight variation, because remember, variation is one of the keys to motivation. So, 
We're gonna fuel up. Big fuel, of course. Similar idea to second or third, first breakfast, lunch, whatever it was. Going for around 500 grams of, probably go for, for pasta and some sort of protein addition and some veg as well. So that's the end of my training day. Probably have a little bit of a chat with Adam, see how he got on, and then we get on to tomorrow. Well, that's the 16K done. And it took an hour and 10. I got it done, my back's sore, legs are sore. It's been a tough day. I'm gonna chill now, eat loads of food, and then hope I don't wake up feeling like I'm dead. Dinner, full pack, 12 Sainsbury's meatballs, half a pack of pasta, a of bread and butter, hog and dos. I think that's about 2,000 calories. Ready for tomorrow. I underestimated the combination of the different types of training that you do. To be able to perform at the level you do on a 16K row after those other things, you don't realize how hard that is. That's the, is that you said that's the longest erg you've done as well. I've done 125K and I've done 120K. And then I did a couple yeah. of 15. So it's in the top five. You know, it's like, for me, I think one thing I'll realize this week is that elite level sport is not just elite level physicality, it's elite level yeah, mental yeah. strength as well. It's like, I don't have that. <laughs> I had a movie on in the background. It, it grows. Like even at the start of the season, I wouldn't start doing three sessions a day until like you're used to it. Over time, split comes down and you adapt to the fatigue that you, and it's a big part of doing the amount of work that I do is my ability to recover just skyrockets because I get fitter and fitter and fitter. You've got time to think on an air, right? And I was just thinking about yeah. if I wasn't doing this challenge and if I wasn't competing with you on Magic Mountain or if I wasn't, you know, doing this on video, I wouldn't be doing that. I don't yeah. think I have the personal drive to stay on that erg for 16K, like I would have stopped. And like yeah. the fact that you do it on your own, week in, week out, without people watching you, it's like, is that something that you've always had or has that happened as a result of the success you've had in rowing and knowing that you needed to, to keep doing that to perform? Well, I think that's like we kind of touched upon in the um, like first call we had. I think it's not necessarily always there, but like, Definitely currently I don't really struggle with that. There is when it gets hard. Yeah, sure You're like, oh, maybe I'll stop maybe like when it's like that. Yeah, definitely But when it's day to day, um, I do I, I just really like it. I enjoy it And it is as when it's when you're feeling like you are when you're tired and it's like, oh tomorrow's gonna be a struggle Today was a struggle. How am I gonna get to the end of the week? That's when it becomes difficult and to, to keep going but then when you're in the position I'm at and I'm able to do it without it being a game ender then it's much, much more easy to, to continue to do. For me, the kind of big realization is this is every week for you. You know, this right. isn't like a one-off fun challenge that you're doing. You yeah. have to keep going every single week to keep improving. And I think that deserves a lot of recognition because I'm seeing that already on day one. Oh yeah, day, day one and it's not like, today is the, the, the <laughs> nice chill day as well. <laughs> it's really easy on the first day of the week because you're feeling fresh, because you've got the energy, to really, to so like you did on the bike, to, to go for it. The best tips I can give you is similar to the ones I've already said, but go to bed early and eat more. Um, so another dinner um, and then another, a snack before you go to bed, a big snack before you go to bed, um, because you're already on the back foot at the beginning of the week. Um, whereas usually, like I've already kind of said to the cameras, um, on a Monday, it almost feels like you, you're not taking your foot off the gas, but you're, having an outlook of, um, I've got a week of training here, not a day. All right, mate. Well, I need to go eat all the pasta meatballs, so I'll let you go. Yep. Appreciate your advice. And if you don't hear from me tomorrow, it's because I've run away. Good luck, and hopefully you fall asleep fine tonight. Amazing. Thanks so much, mate. Chat Cheers. soon.